We are here at Station 10 with Senior Firefighter Alan Green. How are you doing? I'm hot. You're hot? Yes, well, it's going to get even hotter because we are going to do a hot car experiment. We were inspired by some firefighters online who sat in a vehicle for a couple of minutes and showed how quickly a car can heat up and how dangerous that is for kids right. and animals. So we're going to head in that car and put it to right. the test. Find out how hot it gets. Exactly. First things first, taking the temperature of the car. Outside, it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm getting surface temperature of the steering wheel. We have uh, about 107 degrees. Um, then the dashboard, of course, going to be hotter, um, 137, 39 degrees. Firefighter green side of the car, 92 degrees, and mine, 94 degrees. My beginning body temperature, 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Alrighty, I am setting the timer for five minutes. Here we go. After only 15 seconds, we began to feel discomfort. You're already two degrees hotter. Yeah. You know? um, even if you crack the window, it makes very, very little difference in this type of weather. Three minutes in. Your body temperature has raised uh, a degree per minute. So oh, far. wow. You know, it's hard to take a deep breath, exactly. right? Exactly. So with that said, your respiratory system is going to start struggling as it gets hotter in this car. And this wasn't even in direct sunlight. Well, that timer has gone off. And after five minutes... So you're at 98 now. 98. I 98. started around 95, I would say. So what does this mean for kids? According to experts at the Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt, kids heat three to five times faster than adults. You went from 90, 95 to 98. That's three degrees in five minutes for me, an adult. In a child's case, that could be an increase of 15 degrees within the same time frame. And in the grand scheme of things... At 104, that leads to heat stroke or heat exhaustion. 107 leads to death. Leslie Dominique, News Channel 9.